Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and today we will be looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 16. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called the Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. Today in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 16, we hear the story of Jesus and the man at the Hebrew Bethesda pool at the Sheep Gate in Jerusalem. The story is a simple one. There was a crippled man who could never find a spot at the pool when the water was stirred up. As a result, he missed out on the opportunity to access the pool at the right time and thus remain afflicted. As a problem solver, I would have asked several questions to this man. For instance, can you find out the schedule of when the pools are stirred up and devise a way to be there very early so as not to get closed out? Or would it be possible for you to arrange the stirring at a time when you can get there? Or what is it about the pools that make them sought after for this healing? Is there another way to get at this form of healing rather than the pools? Or maybe lastly, are there other better treatments, remedies, or options for you? So my approach would have been, a bit different than Jesus's, but maybe it wouldn't have been so different. The passage tells us the following. Jesus saw the crippled man and asked, do you want to be well? The man said, yes, but, and then he explained his dilemma. And then considering the situation, Jesus healed him on the spot. In other words, Jesus was using an inquiry-based method as well and applied His blessing and grace to the situation as He saw it. And that is my reflection today, that I am not to overthink, overanalyze, or overcomplicate situations that I encounter in my life. As I mentioned, I am by nature a problem solver, but sometimes, perhaps even often, I get caught up in wanting to think things through to make sure I do the best thing, or take the smart action, or maybe make sure that I don't make a mistake, or look bad, or put myself in any risk. What I see Jesus modeling for me today is that perhaps the best solution is the obvious solution. There's a crippled, dispirited man seeking healing, laying on the ground in front of me. I have the power to heal him, so... I heal him. Perhaps what Jesus is telling me is to break down a situation and respond in simple, obvious, human ways. 
Give a hug when a hug is needed. Provide someone a ride. Buy someone a meal. Let go of an argument. Allow another to share credit. Connect people with needed resources. Reach out to a lonely person. Give someone a needed smile. What I hear him telling me is to be his hands, his feet, his shoulders in the moments that they are needed. Matthew 25, 40 tells us, Whatsoever you do to the least of these, that you do unto me. His message could not be any more clear or simple to me. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle. And remember, our message of the day is God's ways, simple ways. Until next time, be well and be blessed. Be blessed.